Morning. Morning, don't be shy, say hello. <laughs> Are you welcome, Vanessa? I'm pleased it arrived. That was quite quick. I only posted them yesterday. Morning, Lynn. So today we're going to look at um, this card here. Um, we're going to use the life quotes from um, Sentimentally Yours. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the same one or not. I haven't made my mind up yet. But this is the thing, you can um, um, mix them around a bit. So, um, morning, morning ladies. <laughs> You're welcome. Actually, um, Emesme, I don't know how much longer we're going to be doing these because I've just got um, a package from Indigo Blue this morning for uh, my shows on the 13th of April. And um, I know that my pack from Phil is going to arrive on Monday for my one day special starting on the 16th of April and I also know that on Monday I'm going to be getting a package from Pentart for my shows on the 6th of April. So um, I've got quite a lot of um, prep to do, um, videos to make um, but we'll you know we'll, we'll try and do one every day uh, if we can. <laughs> Hi Linda, hope you and Sue are well I don't know if you're actually managing to be together at all But um, it's lovely to see that you're on here Right, let's crack on, let's crack on I've got myself a little drink so I'll be sipping away I've got honey and lemon I have a honey and lemon every single day Don't know if it helps but I think it's nice anyway So anyway, so we're going to use the life quotes So take time's going to work or we can use birthday in this one, I think so. I don't know. You tell me as, as we kind of carry on and I'll decide. I'm also going to be using the um, extras textures as well. And in this one's in blue, as you can see, but we're going to make a pink one instead. So I've got things all prepped as if we were in the studio, seeing as this is supposed to be a studio demo, but obviously we're not there. So let's see, let's move my layers out of the way. Right, so we're going to be using the uh, Pure White card from Sentimentally Yours and also the Fabulous Fuchsia card from Sentimentally Yours. Um... <laughs> oh, that's good to hear. Thanks, Linda. <laughs> yeah I'll, I'll do whatever i can vanessa oh that sounds like a delivery man outside i might have to disappear because i've got six kilos of pasta arriving soon because i haven't been able to get any pasta from any supermarket and all i could do was buy six kilos at a reasonable price do you, i mean have you found that, that if you look online that some of the the places are charging a colossal amount for things like pasta anyway Right, let's start at the beginning. So I've got uh, an elegant label here that I've cut out of um, pure white card. And we're going to dust that with my anti-static bag. Here it is. Somebody's got some very loud music on outside. Must be a delivery man. You'll hear my doorbell go in a minute. Right, dust that with my anti-static pad 
and let's see let's grab my stamps which i put up here out of the way so should we do we do the birthday one because then you can see uh the take time and the birthday one uh at, you know side by side at the end so you can see these are huge stamps all the work's done for you so it's like a little collage going on hi trudy hope you're all right my lovely so we're going to be using the stamp perfect platform and put my label in i tend to do this with these big stamps because i've only got little hands so i find it easier so you can see we've got the crown which is going to point to the top and we've got that kind of squiggle that's going to point to the bottom i think that's straightish i've moved the camera a little bit the arm and, and the stamp perfect keeps on going on it right okay wow embossing pad lots of tapping we won't we're going to be embossing with the um, sentimentally your smoky quartz embossing powder which is a, a lovely grey it's almost like you know if you use silver embossing powder it's it's lovely and and kind of um, rich and it's not sparkly but it's shiny well this is kind of like a, a dull version of that I suppose so it's like an alternative great for a man's card if you don't want anything shiny just pop that and get down, give it a good old press. Oh, you've got your stamps early, Trudy. Oh, I have to wait till Monday. I would have collected them from Mr M on Wednesday had we have been doing the one day special as we should have been. But uh, now I've got to wait till Monday. How rude. <laughs> Right, you can't see anything as per let's grab my embossing powder no i did get it out there it is i've got a sniffly nose nothing sinister though it's just a bit cold in my house at the moment there we go see it's a lovely gray color Wishing you the amazing birthday. Wishing you the most amazing birthday ever. I've not done that bit very well, have I? It'll be alright. The thing is, with these stamps, <laughs> you can get away with doing something a little bit grungy, as it were. So it doesn't matter too much if you miss a bit. Also, my stamp was a bit dry, I think. Right, let's heat set that. Where my pokey tool is? There it is. Ah, oh, yeah, you'll all start getting your stamps very soon, won't you? Because um, Phil, bless him, has been packing all on his own. He's been doing a grand job. Obviously, if you've ordered from me, um, Depending on when they arrive, I will actually send them out on Monday. I'll probably send them out on Monday anyway, whether I actually make the last post or not, because I've been going out um, to our sorting office and dropping them off kind of quite late in the day. Uh, and then I don't, there's no way I'm going to see anybody because all I do is just drop them in the post box. Um, so if I can get the last post, I will do, which is about half a six. Otherwise, uh, it'll be picked up obviously first thing in the morning. If you're waiting for two to designs dies from me, um, they did send some out last week to me, and any of the pre-orders that we couldn't get from my last show, uh, they're hopeful that the factories are going to start sending them out very soon. Now, unfortunately, because I missed a little bit, that's not the best. I wonder if we can try and fix that. Let's have a look. Let's see if I've got my embossing pen. If I can find it quickly, I'll fix it. If I can't find it quickly, I won't. Hmm. 
Where's my embossing pen? She says as she's rummaging around. No, I can't find it quickly, so we won't be fixing that. We'll just go with it however it is. Right, okay, so that's that. And I've started doing a background. Now, this is the... Uh, I've cut this out with the um, Double D Bossed Essential Rectangles. And I've already started with the... Um, oh, Stars Border that's in the Decorative Extras set. So we've just finished that off. I'll give it another dust because I might have been touching it a little bit so we just just around the corners and grab my stamp oh, get my bag away right here it is I find I use these all the time really really like this stamp set pad so because we've got this deboss line around the edges you won't get it perfectly it'll kind of sit in the tram line the other way to do it of course is to kind of draw you draw around um, the outside edge of the die uh, before you cut it and actually stamp it on the inside of the line and then cut it afterwards so you can do that obviously when we're in the studio we tend to do it this way around so you're not watching us die cut so we're just going to hang that off of the edge there. Give it a good old press. I can't quite see where it is. So this is when it's like this, then you have to. Where's my, what's it? Um, when it's like this, you have to kind of apply your embossing powder. Or, you know, each time you stamp, which is why I've done some of it ahead of time, because otherwise you'd be watching me do it forever. Right. Don't forget that the embossing powders that you get from Phil are anti-static and anti-static um, uh, pots as well. So do keep them in the pot. Don't go um, decanting them into a bigger tub. Um, let's see. That should be just about right, actually. If you find that it doesn't fit properly, um, you know, and you've got like a little gap, say about like that big and you can't fit a border in, just uh, heat set it all and then use a post-it note to mask off that extra area um, and then you'll be fine. Right, this last little bit. That fits perfectly. Anybody thought I planned it? I think it's just me. It's just accident more than anything else because I know when I did it the first time, it didn't end up perfect. It makes up for the fact that I didn't stamp my main bit particularly well. Now, which bit needs embossing? That bit does. And get the heat tool out again. I have no idea what tip that was, Gloria, you're talking about. Things come out of my mouth and I can't remember what I've just said. If it's a great tip, good. I'm glad I helped. But I've no idea what it was. <laughs> we'll heat set that. We've got one little bit of stamping to do and then we can start constructing. Now, if you're see the card's a little bit bowed you can kind of turn it over and heat from the other side to even it out or you can pop it underneath um, a board like I've got here which we're not going to do because I'm sorting myself out right we've got this little bit of the uh, fabulous fuchsia card and I want to stamp this amazing bit again in that colour so we've got a contrast let's give that a dust first You wait till you see Trudy's new stamps. Oh, they are amazing, as always. <laughs> right, let's pop that down. 
I only need a little bit of the card and check where my amazing's going. Nope, too high. Too low, rather. Let's see. Yep, that'll be just fine. give that a really good ink in. I did actually stamp this particular bit really well. It was the first bit that I didn't do properly. But we can always put a bit of glitter or something over it to hide it. There's always a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. Oh, with the post-it notes. Oh, yes, yes. Post-it notes are great. Are we supposed to say sticky notes, aren't we? We're not supposed to say post-it notes on the telly. But we're not on telly, so I can say post it. You can see, I don't know if you can see there, you've got um, a watermark effect. Can you see that? So if you left that and didn't actually put any um, uh, embossing powder on, it would dry that watermark effect, which is quite nice on its own. But obviously we want it to, be, to pop a little bit more, so we're going to actually add... Yeah, we will go for true white, actually. Because I haven't used true white here. Crystal clear, that's not going to work. Pure white. It's just, I've got a bit of that there. Let's get rid of that. Don't want smoky quartz in my true white. Pure white, rather. So this will make it pop. And make it look amazing. Obviously, with your colours, you can use whatever colours you want to. So you could actually make this card for somebody in their favourite colours. Just with that pop of whatever colour on the top. So we're going to now cut this out. If I can find my scissors. Not those scissors, those scissors. And go around the lines. Let's see if I can see. I'm finding it hard to focus really on things. I think I need to get my eyes tested again, but that's not going to happen, is it? <sighs> so many things aren't going to happen at the moment. We're all going to have crazy hair by the time we come out of this. Can you imagine what Phil's hair is going to be like if he doesn't have it cut for like 12 weeks or something? I do want to see a photograph of that. <laughs> Hi Teresa, you can always watch it back. Don't forget that any of the videos that are on Facebook Live, if you go to whoever, you know, because there's quite a few of us doing Facebook Lives at the moment. Um, so whoever you've been watching, if you just go onto their page or their group page, if it's in a group, go into the videos section and uh, then you can just watch them at your leisure and pause. You can, you know, when you get your stamps, you can you can craft along. Uh, so you can make the exact cards that we're making or, you know, put your own little twist on it. So, yeah, they're all there. So it's like a library for you, which is quite cool, really. So can you imagine if we didn't have things like Facebook? What would we do? Right, so you see, that's going to have a really nice pop of colour on there. That's going to work. Right, so we do need to add a little bit of ink, I think. So, uh, no, that was clever. I've got my little dauber but I don't have my ink pad so bear with me one moment here we go pick raspberry I spent yesterday afternoon rearranging my deflecto storage I'm sure I'm spending more on storage than I am on products at the moment but I know where everything is. I've got a stack for Phil's stuff. I've got a stack for um, the Indigo Blue stuff. I've got a stack for Pentart and I've got a stack for, stack for Distress as well. So this is picked raspberry because I thought this would go really well with the Fabulous Fuchsia card. 
and I've just got it on t on one of the woodware um, applicator tools. And I tend to keep um, all my um, little sponges in little bags with their names on because they actually work better once they've kind of had ink on for a few times. You know, don't wash them out, just keep them for that particular colour and you'll find you get a better, it, it moves better. I don't know why, but it just does. So my craft sheet's moving. I'm not using Phil's craft sheets. I keep that for best. <laughs> I'm just using a bog standard one here around the edges so you can see this really picks up the um, double deboss morning Karen there we go one little bit to do now so that this is going to make everything pop popping's good All right that's that bit Clean that up. That sounded a bit weird. Oh, sorry for the jig. Okay. Let's start doing a little bit of construction and then we can look at our flowers. Let's have a little slurp. Okay, so we've got a piece of... Um, pure white card that I've bent for no reason at the back and uh, I've got some foam tape on the back and this is the largest of the double debossed essential rectangles this is woodware um, foam tape the two millimeter version I think what we'll do is, um, when I finish doing this series of lives, shall I give away all my live cards here on Facebook? I think I'll do that, including this one that I've not made a very good job of yet. <laughs> this could be a special one. <laughs> do you think that'd be a good idea to do that? I think I will, because there's only so much space. And I am really struggling for space. And Phil can have the original ones when we do do these live on the TV, if there's any left. Let me pop that in the corner. Lovely matinee. You can't get, you can't beat dyes for perfect matin layers. Now, if it moves around a bit, it's because of the embossing powder, and I've not actually. Um, stuck it under anything to flatten it out so we give it we give it a bit of a press there yes 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 all right then lee we'll do that yeah we'll do that maggie yes absolutely yeah yeah we'll definitely do that probably probably early next week we'll do that you've got to be in it to win it as they say i don't know what we'll do we'll probably just draw a name do actually you know it, when you do start receiving your uh, stamps um do um send us pictures so you can send them to the sentimentally yours pages on facebook uh, or you can pop them on uh, my page here um so it would be lovely to see your um versions of them because they are absolutely super super stamps let's pop actually let's figure out now the labels aren't 100% uh, symmetrical, so you have to make sure that you actually have them the right way up. So we're going to pop that one in there and glue this one in place. Oh, that's not glue, Julia. Not going to glue it with water, are you? Don't put too much glue on because it is a wet glue. If you push the nozzle into the card, then you find that you have less glue dispensed. That's the way I tend to do it. That's going in the middle. That's already fab, isn't it? And my amazing thing for the centre. Let's see if that foam tape's right size. Yep. Yeah. And where's my where's my other scissors? <laughs> I 
I'm just reading your messages. So that's going to go on the centre. So that's it. That 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 could be your card. You know, you could do that. But of course, this is Phil. So we've got to do some flowers as well. So we'll put that just to one side while we sort our flowers out. Now for the flowers, I'm going to use a piece of vellum. This is white frost vellum. Thanks, Karen. I'll um when 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 we finish this, we'll put the blue one and the pink one next to each other, and and then you can have a look at both uh, color versions and both different stamps as well. So as I've been saying, I know know some of you haven't seen all of the the lives. This is my third one. Um, so we will just recap on this. So in my smaller um stamping platform i've got six of the flowers from the elegance flower set um and i just keep all of these in here at, at, at the same time and if i cut an a6 piece of card then i know my six flowers are going to fit perfectly on there um oh it's a set obviously this is vellum and uh, do make sure when you pop your stamps onto your um, stamp press or if you're stamping them sort of manually you know individually by hand um do allow a, a reasonable gap between them don't put the flowers up to each other unless of course you're creating a background um because otherwise you're not going to get your dies in there to uh, actually cut them out so give it a good old ink ink and we go on to the vellum. It's nice to use vellum for a change. <laughs> Not into pink. But it's, this, this, isn't, this isn't kind of a sickly pink. This is a really bright, happy pink, I think. Um, it's just different. If I do them, if I always do them the same colour, you don't, you know, you only see that card in, in, in that colour um it's it's a difficult thing to get your mind around so sometimes it's nicer to see things in a different color even if you don't like it it kind of opens yourself up to you know being a bit more adventurous i think rather than just using whatever you see okay let's emboss this then we're going to add the um again the smoky quartz on top of here Time flies, doesn't it, when you're doing this? It's just like in the studio, there's a time thief. Whenever you craft, there's a time thief, which is good, really, at the moment, really, isn't it? Let's heat set this. Look at that. That looks fabulous, doesn't it? Look at that. It, get, never, um, it always amazes me, these little dots. In fact, I don't think I put enough on that corner there. Let me just get that right. It looks a little bit weak. That could be me, or it could be, you know, it could be that I haven't stamped it particularly well, or it could be it needs more embossing powder. Needed more powder. Obviously, once you've heat set it, that's it. You can't do anything about it. But having said that, because I keep my stamps in the same place and I always put my card in the corner, I could actually go back in and fix it. That's one of the beauties of having the stamp um, platforms. Hi Wendy. I did post, um, I don't know if you saw, because I was asked yesterday if I could bring um, Ed, our cat, into the end of the video, but he won't let us pick him, pick him up for more than about 10 seconds. So what I did was I went, after we finished, I went and just took a little video of him doing what he always does, which is just sleeping on the bed. Um, that's his daytime activity. Um, so there is a little one minute video of Ed if you want to have a look at that. He wasn't very impressed with the woke him up. So there we go, there's our flowers on vellum. So what you would then do is take your dies individually. Grab the dies and grab the. I've lost one, what have I done? I'm going to have to hunt for that, aren't I? So it's this one. I might not put it back. That could be a problem. So what you do is you just place your die over there and you can see it fits perfectly. You'll see just a little bit of the, the flower line on the inside and that helps you line it up. 
and you can look at the, the what you've got in the center to make sure it's all secure so use low tack tape tape it down and you can do all six on one pass and then you've got the flowers so hey ho here i've got some flowers in vellum all cut out put that one back goodness knows what's happened to the other one it'll be phil phil i've lost a flower <laughs> Right, so we're going to colour them in with um, the watercolour blending brush pens. This is set two. Um, I believe that stock is running out of these. I know I've only got... Um, hi Maureen, morning. Um, um, yeah, I, I've only got one left in stock, so I don't know. I'm going to have to look to see if Phil's got some more. But what we're going to do is colour them in, and I've done a chart... Uh, so these are all the colours, ignore that, this is from when we were in the studio. Um, and I think that that pink there is going to be our best bet. So one, two, three, that's the fourth one, it's that one. So if you do your chart and always keep your pens in the same place, then you're good to go. I need a water brush. One do that one works right okay so turn them over so you're on the back they look totally different on the back don't they i'm just going to add a little bit of pen just in the center see how these these brush pens are they're just so fine obviously you don't need a fine one to do this and you don't have to be particularly neat which I quite like. And last one. And then we're going to use <laughs> um, then we're just going to use the watercolour blending brush uh, the the Oh, water brush it's called Julia and just move the colour around a little bit to so drag it out so it's not moving very well let me grab another one that one will do this one got any well, got no, well it won't do because it's got no water in it water brushes only work if they've got water in them I'm really struggling with these pens at the moment. I can't get them to work. Oh, where's the one that's in my kit? Let's use that one. There we go. And vellum's a bit, little bit weird because it, um, it'll start to curl up. I don't know if it'll do it quick enough for us, but we'll see. So if we turn that over now, we've got kind of light and darker in the center and it starts to curl um my blue one curled very nicely while i was doing something else which is quite good so we'll see whether it does it it might not do it completely it started to go look can you see that started to go but you've got no control over it it just does whatever it wants which could be irritating or just interesting. Quickly move this about. Obviously, because I've got some on my mat, I don't really want to get it on the front as well. Wipe that off. <laughs> can we see that one? Can you see that one curling? I'll move that so you can see it started to curl quite nicely. Clean up my mat. Obviously, if you want more colour, if you want it darker, just put some more pen on. I just want a little bit. See, it's, I like this sort of colouring. You don't have to think about what you're doing. It's good quality vellum, this too. Oh, 
Last one. There we go. Well done. You always remember to just clean your water brush out before you put it away. Just so that when you pick it up, you don't transfer a colour you don't want. Like that. Okay, so let's go back to our card while they're curling nicely. Yeah. Oh, yeah, Trudy. It curls more with the more water. It does, it does. Yeah, they do look fab. Yeah, I love the brush pens too. Yeah. I'm not sure when the next set out. I think it might be May when Phil said the next set might be out. But they're really having a mind of their own now. Really cool. Right, so what we've got is just for our flowers and leaves, we've got some of the... Um, these are the leafy fronds and you can see it's got lovely deboss detail on it. Let's just get rid of that message. Uh, lovely deboss detail on it. Um, so we're going to add those. Now you'll find probably if you watch the other Facebook lives that the, the layouts are pretty much the same. You know, um, you might change the dies, change the stamp, change the colour maybe. But it's like a formula which isn't a bad thing to have. In fact, let's just change the formula a little bit and have the have, the, have them go in. Instead of, um, I normally do, what do I normally do? I normally do that corner and that corner. So let's do this corner and that corner. See, mix it up. Not a lot, just a little. Yeah, so if you can't think about what to do, you know, you've got a formula and you just follow that formula. Um, we will be doing a journal page at some point, which could be chopped down into a card. It is possible to make um, like small A6 size cards um, with these as well. You don't have to do big cards if you don't want to. It's easy peasy, easy crafting. Right, are you in short? I think you are. Right, we're nearly there. Leaves up there. Of course, you don't need to have leaves in two corners if you don't want to, but we tend to. And I'd, I'd, I tend to stick to about six flowers at the most. Sometimes I only do three. Two, two in one corner, one in the other. Depends how big they are. All right, let's add my flowers now. Start to construct my flowers. Ah, sticky fingers. Not sticking, are they? Stay. I think it's because it's going onto the debossed area. Right, let's construct these flowers. I've got started to shape them already. Now we've done a couple of different shapes over the last two days. With this one, we're not going to use a, um, what's it called? Tweezers. All we're going to do is use these these digits that we've been given, three, and just bend them. So just putting my finger underneath the flower and bend them now these haven't these haven't quite bent as much as 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 my other ones did probably because they've not been left as long but we will i'm, I'm not going to shape them because i think they'll shape themselves as they dry so i'm going to leave them alone but what i am going to do is add my glue to the centers of all these so they've all been embossed with the smoky quartz. How do I ever get video, to get um, demonstrations done so quickly on TV? Probably because they, they leave me and go and do stuff, maybe. I don't know. Right. So this is my largest one. So this one's going in here. I'll set that. That way. There we go. Give it a good old press. So obviously it's going onto an embossed surface. And then this one's going in here. This is just a, a foam uh, mat. They used to call it a moulding mat. I do have, I think I do have a couple on my website. 
but it's a, a, you know we use quite a lot of them in fact today i should have been at a tabletop sale over at stamp addicts getting rid of loads of stuff because i'm really struggling for space so instead i'm adding items to my pre-love section on my website i added loads last night and i'll add an, another load today still go and have a look there's still 10 percent off everything and there will be for the duration of this um time when we're meant to stay at home so if you need to stock up on anything or just want to have a browse feel free to do so and enter code stay at home or capital letters in the discount code box at checkout and you'll get 10% off everything. There's my flowers, don't they look pretty? So we'll pop those on and then we'll add our pearls on and we're done. Right, so we'll have the big one down the bottom, this side, I nearly went to the other side where there's no leaves. And then we'll have the next size one on the opposite corner. it's a perfect match colour wise isn't it with the um the pens next one's going down here and my vellum's come out i felt it so i'm gonna fix that in a second that one down there pop that in there give that a poke This one's going at the top. This is what takes a, a while actually doing your flowers. But they do make things look really pretty. I have to agree with Mr M about that. And these dies are just absolutely stunning. Well, the st dies and stamp combo. Of course, you can use the... Um, that's come off as well. Uh, you can use the decorative um, textures to add uh, patterns to your flowers if you don't want to um, go through the um, stamping and then die cutting afterwards. Let's see, move that round. Get in. Stay. There we go. Oh, how pretty is that? Hi, Bev. How are you doing, my lovely? Your daughter. Your daughter is incredible. Well, both of them are really good, cool, but Abby, isn't it, that does the videos and she cooks for you. She's a keeper. Don't let her ever leave home, Bev, ever. <laughs> sorry. Yeah, the code is, is you, you guys have to sort the code out for yourself. I'm sorry, but, you know, there's there's plenty more there. There's loads of bargains. So the pearls we're using here are the uh, Raspberry Coolie. These are um, kind of um, two-tone pearls. Um, I think this one's going to fit. Let's let's just check whether I am going to use this one or not. Yes, I am. Um, yeah, they're two-tone pearls. And uh, if there's none left on Hochanda, you're going to have to go to uh, Phil's Honey Pop Crafts site to get them because... Um, us guys in the trade retailers we can't get hold of them so uh, that's the only place you can buy those either Hochanda or from Phil himself but they are they're really pretty so there's a mixture of eight millimeter and um, five millimeter pearls and um, there's about 400 in the pack Phil's mum packs them all bless her and I'm quite pleased that I've actually got some to work with, which is really lovely. I'm using the tweezers uh, from uh, Sentimentally Yours as well. You get three tw uh, pack, three tw sets of tweezers in the kit. And these are perfect for picking up your pearls. And you get pointy ones, which will help you with shaping your, um, your flowers. And then you get like angled ones as well, which I know Phil likes to use. I don't tend to use those ones myself. But I know a lot of people like them. There's our last pearl gun in there. There we go. So ob there's obviously, I've not gone for glitter on this one because I don't think he's watching. So I'm I'm, I'm all right there. Um, but obviously you could add, add glitter in there if you wanted to. Let's just grab the 
blue one. Ugh, I've got a pearl there. I'll put that away in a minute. Uh, blue one. Here it is. With the other stamp. And then you can see the two side by side. There we go. So you can decide there. I mean, obviously, you've almost got one for a boy and one for a girl there, haven't you? In the, in the uh, traditional way of blue and pink. Um, but uh, let's move it down a bit. There we go. So thank you very much for joining me again for another marathon um, Facebook Live. I will um, uh, photograph uh, the pink one and put it into the album. And um, you can find that afterwards. And um, I'll be back again tomorrow at 11. So I'll meet you guys here then. Thanks so much for joining me and stay safe and carry on crafting. Bye.